Okay, so now that we know how to create a loading bar and pie charts, we are going to now look at how to work with expression controls. So for this, I'm first gonna start off by turning off this pie, and I'm going to use my loading bar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up here, and I'll create a new composition, and I will call this loading bar. Press okay. And then I'm gonna go over here and copy these and paste them here. So here I have my loading bar right over here. And I'm gonna make sure before I start this that the timing is where I want it to be. So I'm gonna have it right on two seconds right here. Click out, good. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create another composition and I'm gonna call it expression controls. Press okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this new comp, the loading bar that I just created, and I'm gonna drag it into this composition like this. And I'll close out my old loading bar and pie charts. So here I have my composition, my pre-comp. And what I wanna do now is I wanna add something known as an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna right click, new, adjustment layer. Now with this, I don't want my adjustment layer to move at all if I'm moving things around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the scale, S, and then I'm gonna make these zero, like that. It'll still work, but I just don't wanna to have to touch it. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to add an expression control to this. So I'm gonna click on my adjustment layer, go up here to my effects and presets, and then I will type in control. And I'm gonna go down here and grab this slider control and drag it onto my adjustment layer. Very good. Now notice that an effect has appeared. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the beginning right here, and I'm gonna put a keyframe. And then at that two second mark where our animation came fully in, I'm going to add another keyframe at 100%. And if you slide this down, you can see that you can move it down here as well. And up here as well, if you wanna bump it up past 100%, you can. I'm gonna put that back at 100% though. And if you twirl this down, you can also make your changes down here as well, but you're limited to the 100%. Good. Now that that's done, we have to lock this layer so that if we go into another composition, it's not gonna move. So how do we do this? We just go up here and we click on this lock right here. And now it's not gonna change if we go into another composition like this. So it's still there. Now we're in the loading bar composition right now. And what we have to do is we have to open this up, the loading bar, go down to contents, shape one, find our trim path, where our animation is, and then we're gonna pick whip to our slider control, right here, just like that. And now notice that if we play it back, it goes all the way to 100. And if we go over here to our expression controls composition and say we want it to actually change this, and we wanted to move this down to say 70, Notice that now it goes to 70. So you can control your animation from a different composition using these slider controls. And just to show you what the actual expression looks like, we're gonna open it up. So we're gonna go in here, then we're gonna twirl this down. If you had your layer closed, you could also press E twice, double click on the E, and it would bring up your expression. Now what this is telling us is that it's taking from the expression controls composition and then it's taking from the adjustment layer two that we created, it's using the effect slider controls and then the slider. So expression controls, adjustment layer two, slider control, and then slider. So that's what this means. Now I wanna add something else to this. I wanna add a color control. So what I'm gonna do is go over here, select color control, drag it over like that. And then we're gonna go in here and then all we have to do is simply find our stroke color. So here's the color right here. We simply just pick whip it up here 
to the color, notice how it changes. And if we want to make it a different color, we can do that. So now it's this greenish color and we can change it from here as well. Awesome. I'm going to turn that back to this. Now this is really helpful when say you have a lot of the same elements, but you want them to have small little variations. So what do I mean? Well, let's say we had another bar graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my project. I'm going to duplicate my loading bar. So duplicate it here, loading bar two, and then I'm going to drag it into my composition like this. And I'm going to make these both 50% like that. And then I'm going to move the first one to be right here. And the second one I'm going to put right over here. And we can make them a little bit bigger actually. Let's do 60. That looks better. Now for this loading bar too, let's say I wanted it to have a different uh, percentage or a different color. How could I do this? Well, all I would have to do was simply open up this composition here, the loading bar two, and then I'm gonna go over to my effects control. And what you have to do is you simply highlight them both and then you duplicate them. So control D and then you can drag them both down to separate them like that. And all you have to do now is simply open up your expression. So click on your layer, double click on the E, your expressions come up. And now we have to tell it to take from a different slider control and a different color control. So this is pretty easy because there's only one difference, the two. So for this loading bar here, I'm going to have it take from slider control two. So I'm gonna open this up and make this slider control, slider control two. And this has to be perfect, so be very uh, precise with this. And then for the color control, I'm gonna make it color control two. Awesome. Now, if we go back to our expression controls, we can now make our changes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to open up my slider control two, and then my color control two, and then I'm going to change my color. So I'm gonna make this a different color like that, and then for the slider right here, I am actually going to just delete these two. And in the beginning, I will make it zero. And then at the end, I will bring this all the way up to 90. And if I play this back now, I have something like this. Now I'm gonna add one more loading bar, so I will go over here, projects, I'll duplicate this bar right here and then I will drag this guy in as well and we will just make him the big one. All right, so we got this third bar in here. Now with my slider control two, I'm gonna actually make this about 80. So right here, make this guy 80, right about there. And the first one I'll make We'll make this guy 40, right there. Now I'm gonna close these up here, so close. And then for my last slider here, I'm gonna change the color to something like red. Good, so now I have my slider controls and my color controls. Now one thing that you have to be really careful with when you're doing these is to make sure that the number that you have in your slider control is what you want it to be. So here I have it at 100%, so that's good. But let's say I had it at 130. Up here, I would not be able to see the difference. Up here, it would only say 100, but in actuality, I have it set to 130. And if I played this back, it comes in a lot faster and the timing is off. So if you don't want this, you need to make sure that your keyframe down here is correct so that your timing is not thrown off. Now if I play this back one more time, we have this and the timing is correct. All right, so I hope that you liked this video about expression controls and that you learned a lot and we will see you in the next tutorial. Until next time.